Hey, I'm curious though, before I let you ask me questions, how, how much of what you learn is stuff that you are memorizing and then recalling and reciting versus coming up with new ideas and new thoughts, stuff that hasn't been out there before? Are you thinking about things in different oh, yeah. ways? So there's this theory I've made called graviton quantum sponge theory. Oh my gosh. And, oh my gosh, indeed. <laughs> Graviton quantum sponge theory? Yes. Okay. It describes the origins of the universe and tries to unify quantum mechanics and relativity. Wow. It basically says that the universe has little holes in it. These holes represent dimensions, and it's still a work in progress. So any physicists out there, don't get any bright ideas. <laughs> it's my theory. Let's, let's lighten it up. Yes. Because you get to ask me questions now. All right. What, what, what you got, Sean, the science kid? Neuroplasticity. One of my favorites. <gasps> Your favorite. Yeah. Oh, yes, I mean, how do you not like neuroplasticity? Exactly. Even the word is fun to say. <laughs> Try saying that three times as fast. Neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity. Is it neuroplasticity? Neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, what, what about it? Um, so what do you, what do you really think about it? Like adapting to different environments. We were reading one of your COVID interviews Mm. and when you were talking about how we have to adapt to the new life, I, one thing popped into my head, Mm. neuroplasticity. Mm. Now I know that's a little outdated, but did you think anything about neuroplasticity while saying that? Um. 